Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be changing out the fog lights. We're going to be putting in some LED fog lights and actually changing out the housings. As you can see, they're in rough shape. So let me show you what we're putting on. As you can see, I've already done the LCI headlights. They look pretty clean. And these fog lights are a real letdown. They're worn out. So here's the replacement fog light lenses. Those look a heck of a lot nicer than what's on there, as you can see. Big contrast to that. So let's remove the front bumper now and get these guys installed. I'm gonna recommend that you turn your wheel all the way to one side. So the wheel turned, we can see where we got to remove a couple screws. I'm missing this uh, screw here because my bumper is damaged. You'll have that if everything's normal. And looking up a little bit further, you'll see there's one bolt right there. So we got to remove that, eight mil. So for the sake of seeing if this job can be easy, I had that one bolt removed and then like I said I'm missing one here but if you guys followed along we have clear access to the fog light. I'm going to see if we're able to get it out in this gap here and if so it could be a really quick easy job. I could have removed the bumper just the same and showed you guys really clearly what's involved with removing this fog light. So I could show you the two screws going through here at the front onto the bumper and this screw here going onto the bumper. But I figured if I can get it out that easily, two bolts turn your wheel, then a lot of you guys are more likely to tackle this, showing how easy it could potentially be. I know a lot of people don't want to jack up their car, take off their front bumper and everything, just change these. So two simple bolts and you'll be able to change out your fog lights and a lot of you guys have fog lights that look like this I know it for a fact so these are about forty dollars for the set and you can really refresh the look of your front end as you can see significant difference big difference in clarity and it's gonna look a lot nicer on the car so I'm gonna put these back into place there's two silver 8 mil screws going to the front I use a ratcheting 8 mil to get those out, they're relatively easy, and then I just use a socket, deep 8 socket here. So let's put things back into place. And FYI, I'm using LED fog lights now. Much, much cleaner looking, looks great. We're going from this to that. Let's turn them on and see the comparison between halogen and LED. I kind of wanted my fog lights to be as yellow as possible, but still be LED to run cooler. So as you can see, I'll get close to it. That's almost like an Arctic white right now. And we'll go down to the fog light. So mostly yellow hue, but it still looks really good to compare.
I'm very happy with the color temperature and I can change the color anyway with those dip switches, but I like that. So I'm gonna get that wiring managed and put the screw back on on my fender liner, complete that side. It's gonna be the same procedure on this side, just turn your wheel the other way and I'll show you when I'm all done. I tried to follow my own advice here on this side, but the factory oil cooler's in the way and it would have been just a little too tough to squeeze my hand in there. So what I did was I undid the two bolts that you can access once you pull this fender liner away. There's two screws that are eight mil that look like this. They go from here and one over here. Once you do that, we'll be able to create a gap and we can see down where the fog light is. And you can kind of see the mounting bolts now. There's that one eight mil there and then there's two over by the front. So I'm just gonna access it this way. It'll be a lot easier. So there you have it. There's the end result. A quick and easy way to take years off the look of your car, sharpens things up. And on my car in particular, it matches the clarity of the new headlights that I have. With regards to the bulbs that I'm running in here, they're Lux version fives. They're technically not meant to be run in fog lights or for the inside of your headlight housing because they're meant to power your angel eyes. They're color changing LEDs. Um, I'm hoping that it will work out and that I will not have any moisture getting into my fog lights. I don't think I will. They're relatively isolated from the elements in that little cavity. So I'll put a link in the description for the LED bulbs that I purchased and also the fog lights that I purchased. The fog light housings were about $40 on Amazon and they definitely look really good. So it's one of the cheapest ways to refresh the look of your car, I would say. $40 in about half an hour of your time. So thanks for watching and consider subscribing. I upload regularly. Good luck.